Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brave Soul video today only like eight hours late we are finally reacting to the new comfy on world characters gameplay now i haven't seen it yet hence the reaction i actually really did want to put face come on today but the quality i don't know obs is, is so messy to play around with like there was delays and stuff so i'm just going to do how i normally do it and that unfortunately means no face cam no so that aside again i haven't seen the gameplay but what i have seen is some memes i saw riddler's meme on reddit so what is is um is sanoski actually good did he actually not get shafted even though he has like a hit range collision strong attack one and two i don't know we're gonna find out today let's react to the gameplay and let's see how it goes so one thing i will say since i've made my first reaction video to the stats and skills and stuff i am actually kind of excited for the banner i am going to be skipping it i did actually pull for asking like yesterday or two days ago lucky for me i did get in 5-5 follow me on twitter if you haven't seen it because i did say it there and i'm actually kind of excited for shunsui now because i read what his special actually does like not in game but like what he actually does in the manga like how you have to you can't lie when he activates it it's so sick like shunsui is honestly one of the coolest characters out there man he's actually really cool so let's react the first character we're going to be reacting to is the Kenpachi. I believe so let me quickly turn this down and let's go Kampachi she can I know people are like trying to guess what his name's gonna be like Lin Ken or Pot Ken she can there's so many names going around I think it's gonna I don't think one's gonna stick for a while so third is looking nice he's got the vortex okay I like it it's a pretty long vortex too they're showing it again all right and then was is SA1 was a beam, right? It is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And that's his nad string. Ooh, that nad string though. I like it. I like that last hit. So I just played it once. Let's just go through it now. Special animation. Looks pretty nice. I do like the Kampachi's artwork in this. Like it looks really cool. Yeet. Man just does the <laughs> Man did the 360. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about his strong attacks. So his third is full screen. Um, I don't, he don't have Havoc. It would have made sense for him to have Havoc anyway. So he doesn't have Havoc. That's fine. He's an ad character. So full screen strong attack three. Looks pretty nice. I'm a fan of it. I, I just, it's, I like seeing his, his Nozarashi. I feel like it's pretty cool. Um, I wish we would get more Kenpachis with this Nozarashi blade. Uh, obviously, we only got two, the manga and Kanfi mode. But, you know, maybe when the anime comes out, we'll get more. I feel like it's quite cool. So that is his SA2. It's a vortex. Looks really cool. I like the rubble effect going around it. That This is actually a very good strong attack for him to have because it just means he can group enemies up. Now, do keep in mind, he is a Ranka killer. So that means... And that means when he is going against Ranka enemies, because I don't think any of them actually have uh, melee guard breaks. So he don't have to... He don't need guard break, in a sense, when he is going against the Ranka characters. But when he's going against other characters, it would have been better if he did have guard break. But I will say, right? I will say... He is probably the worst Link Slot character in a sense because let's just compare him to the other two. What does Raruka and Rukia have that this Kenpachi doesn't have? Besides boots. <laughs> It's the fact that he doesn't inflict any status elements, and that's going to be kind of a pain to play with him. Now, obviously, most people don't like bringing that characters into co-op, unless your name is Tolkienada. But for Ruka and Rukia, because they can inf- oh, it's mainly Ruka because she's the Nad character. She has the Vortex. She has the weakened special. Like, it makes it so when a boss does spawn, just pop the special off and literally just hold down the attack button and boom, you breeze it. With this Kenpachi, he doesn't inflict any status elements, and that means, you know, when he goes against- when you're using him in co-op, you might- die more so often than not if that makes sense right that's what i'm trying to say but i will say one good thing about him i don't think i don't think much people are mentioning is the fact that he's a flurry character and he has a ranka killer that is good because that's the second character in the game right now to have flurry and a ranka killer that's a melee character we need these kind of characters for uh, for guild quests you know a few weeks back when we had the melee ranka guild quest week we could only use soifa and that was the only flurry melee character uh, for a ranka killer that we had in the game and i don't have her so this is kind of nice obviously the boss is the final boss's power right now, but we've already had the Aranka week. So maybe when the guild quest resets in a few weeks time, we might have like a different color boss at the end. So he's going to be a staple for guild quest. And that's one reason to pull him. And also the fact that regardless how good or bad he is, the Link Slot skill is very, very good. And you just want him for that alone. So I, I suggest if you are pulling, probably pull for his um, his individual banner. That's probably the best way to do it. But yeah, that was basically it. That's his Nad string. Or oh, this is his Nad string. It looks nice. So to one, two, three, four. To four in that string, the final hit does have some AOE radius to it. So it, it, he's good. He's good, right? Could have been better if he did have if he did have status elements. But he's gonna do what he does. That's farm links, not potions, and auto content. 
for the most part. He should do quite well. So that's it. I'm a fan of this Kimpachi. Let's move on to Shinsui. Shinsui, this is this is a new meme format. Look at my community page in a few hours. I'm gonna make a meme with this. <laughs> so, like I said at the start of the video, I'm very excited for this Shinsui because, you know, his special, I don't know what it's called. Hiki Biki something. I don't know, right? This special, um, at least in the novels, I guess. When you when he activates it or when he uses it, if you lie, you get like paralyzed. If you lie again, something else happens to you. And if you lie the third time, you, you, you're you're dead, right? It's something like that. I feel like this is really cool. I I never knew Shinsuke could do this, but I'm a fan of it. So let's react to it. I think I need to turn it down. Bro, that's my that's my sleep paralysis demon, bro. <laughs> okay, let's see it. So oh, that was SA three. That looks nice. That is SA2. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Yo, that night string looks clean though. I like it. I like it. Okay. So straight off the bat, special animation top tier. Like, I don't know what that is. Okay. I, I guess that's the pack because he also can't lie when he activates this, which I think is quite cool. This demon, or I, I guess shadow is just funny. Like, look, man, man breaks his back. What's going on? Is <laughs> Is that what happens when you lie? I don't know. <laughs> I think he says Zanen Dayo. I think I think that means is that a lie? I don't know. I'm not Japanese, but yeah. So that's the thing. One thing to keep in mind though, he does have the inflict extra damage to lacerated enemies, and he also did keep devastation. So he might actually be one of the best nukes in the game, especially when he does have killer, right? That I, I guess that kind of makes the fact that he doesn't have killer, uh, or he does have a killer, but he has no affiliation killer. It's not the best, right? But I think outside of the fact that he doesn't have an actual usable killer, because yes, no affiliation is somewhat usable at some times, but for the most part, you'd rather have a Ron or a uh, Hollow. Um, I will say, though, the Kisuke that came out a few weeks back, the Confi one around 5-1, he is actually a top-tier speed character, despite him not actually having a good killer. So I kind of expect to see the same thing for this Shinsui going forward into the future. So... That's his third. I kind of like, I always like the shadow effects that Shinsui have. Honestly, if you, you know, you can see my, my Twitter AVI, my Twitter AVI, like, bro, I'm not the biggest fan of Shinsui, but I'm really starting to like him. His move sets, like, the, everything he just does is so clean, so I like it. So that's his third. Good strong attack. You know, it's like basically Koga's or Tenjiro's SA3. Good strong attack to have. His SA2, that's where you have the problem. Um... You can see, especially in this part right here, you can see it doesn't even kill the enemies. Like, the new enemies spawned, and they didn't die. And that's going to be a problem when you're playing with this character. Now, is it a big problem? Not really. If, you are, if you're a fan of Shinsui, if you have this character, you're probably going to have fun playing him. But, compared to other characters you're going to see here, like, the second SA is definitely going to bring him down. Because, like, they spawned, and Shinsui basically just tapped him. That's basically the biggest problem with him. And then his lunge... Do you even call that a lunge, bro? <laughs> man, man took one step. <laughs> That's such a, like, slow... It's not a slow lunge, but, like, it barely travels, so... You know what? I think on paper, he looked a lot better. He's still cool. I like him. I want him. Right, but definitely, um, SA2 brings him down a bit, but he's still going to be able to clear content regardless, so that's the Shinsui. Now let's move on to Sonosuke, who, funny enough, is voiced by Shinosuke. Alright, so I had to cut it there. Um, so let's react to the Sonosuke gameplay. So I'm actually kind of interested to see what he looks like because this is the first time we're ever seeing him in the game or any kind of thing. Because um, technically he was in the... No, he wasn't in the manga, I believe. He, You might see him once in the animated the screenshot on screen right now. You see him once there, I believe, and you see him a few times in the manga. But like, Comfy Mode is like when he fully gets like his introduction. So I'm excited to look at him. Um, I kind of think he's cool. So I thought, I heard he was sadistic and he kind of is. He likes healing people that want to die. <laughs> so me, when I get shafted. <laughs> okay, let's react to him. So yeah, actually, on, let, let me go back, let me go back. I like the effect. Like, this man looks... So this is this right now is black screen. This is him. Someone's trying to die, right? And they just wake up. <laughs> and see this dude with um some... I don't even know what that is. It's Kaido, right? Kaido healing techniques. Sitting on chair somewhere. All right, so let's react to it. So no, okay. Okay. Yo! I like that. Oh, look at his shields! Oh, that's his third? That's his second, okay. Yo! Shinosuke OP, boys! Yo! So, 
that looks cool. That was sick. I'm excited for him. Right, again, I'm skipping, but I'm excited for him. So, on paper, he looked the worst. SA2 is a vortex, but in a sense, it's also good because it's, um... It's like Tokinada's um, SA2, right? It's a heal slash shield strong attack, but it also is a normal strong attack in a sense where, you know, it actually does the vortex. So it's not just that traditional circle AoE um, strong attack around them. So I kind of like that. I wish they do that more for other characters, but let's react again. So I like the special. So man just heals someone. That one is a die. Voice actor, by the way, sounds sick. And then man just walks away like, my job's done. <laughs> Okay, that looks sick. And then, yeah, look at that shield, bro. I really do like how k actually don't just reuse shield assets for every character. They try to make it unique. And he look, definitely has one of the better shields. Top 10 shields, strong attacks coming soon, boys. <laughs> All right. So, SA3. Very fast, uh, which is actually good. And it is above full screen. So, that's good. That's good. Second strong attack is the moving vortex. Good strong attack, to be fair. That first, though, we need to see that in slow motion. So, it's a range collision strong attack. You can see there, but it, it it goes pretty quick. That's a good strong attack. I don't think anyone has this in this game, or it's the, he's the first character to have it with Havoc. But I like it. We're going to have to see that being used more in actual, you know, when people actually have the character. But I like it. Like, it is killing people, right? That's a good thing. It's killing the characters. And then in that string... Is quite good. So, that was the gameplay. I'm, I am impressed. I am impressed. I am skipping it, but I am impressed. So, let's quickly... Am I, who am I putting in the thumbnail? So, Nosuke, probably, right? He is the new character. Can put... Can put that. <laughs> uh, let me go to Shunsu. Let me get a little thumbnail for him. This could work. Yeah, Shunsu don't really have a good picture. I guess that works. I don't know. And then Kenpachi. Kenpachi should be good. Like he, Yeah, like, look at that. That's, that's literally a good screenshot right there. So yeah, Kenpachi, quick recap on the characters. A good flurry character. Um, I wish he had status elements because you do want to use him in co-op a lot because obviously he's Link's skill. Now that he doesn't have any status elements, it's going to be probably a pain to use him. But he is a flurry character with the Aranka kill ability. So that is actually good for guild quests because now we have two flurry characters that are Aranka killers. Uh, technically free now, but Ichigo's range. So we need a new ranged flurry uh, Aranka killer in the future of the game so we can breeze through guild quests a bit easier so yeah he's okay right i think he is a, an okay nad character to be fair he's gonna hit hard he's gonna do what he has to do but i i wish he did have some stats on him that would have made him a bit better the shunsui definitely didn't expect him to be he's not bad he's not bad he's really not bad but that second sa2 I, I feel like could have been a bit better because you can see that it doesn't kill enemies and then the fact that he doesn't have killer probably makes it a bit worse. And then that SA2, SA1, I mean, it does hit the enemies on the side there, so that's quite cool, but it doesn't really have any distance. So, Shunti's okay. Um, to be fair, though, I'm not going to discredit the fact that he is a no affiliation killer. We did need this. I know many people don't like the fact that he had no affiliation killer, but we did need it. The last no affiliation killer character was, um, at least power no affiliation killer, was the Swimsuit Yoroichi. People correct me in the comments. Thank you for that. And the Okiura. Now, Okiura is a melee character, and Yoroichi is a ranged character. So, you know, he kind of needed to replace the Okiura. So I'm a fan of it, even though, like, you know, he's just... He's okay. He's good. He's going to click content. That's fine. And then, yeah, Shinosuke. Definitely the, the surprise of the banner. I'm excited for him. I feel like he's, he's actually pretty good. Let me move this down. Um, so, yeah, that, that's basically it. So, let me know what you guys think about these cards in the comments below. Are you pulling it on the banner tomorrow? Um, I won't be pulling, but I, may, I have a new account. I want to farm up a couple of orbs and then probably give the account away when the anniversary does come around, which is, by the way, July 23rd. Many people keep asking. July 23rd is when the anniversary starts. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like, share that good stuff, and I'll see you later in the next one. Peace.